Hi there, I'm Liam Lynch, and I am, uh, I've created my own, uh, bizarre specific hell. No, it's not hell. It's, uh, it's not that bad at all, but this is my setup for, uh, making Syphilinoli episodes, which is a digital video camera, a microphone, a light, and then this is my very expensive big sound system, which is my iPhone. So Syphilinoli starts here in my home recording studio where everything is done audio first. So I have to build the shows like a radio show first. So first it starts with um, writing scripts. So I get a bunch of scripts, write them up, print them out, and then, um, and then comes an audio session and so Matt and I do the voices of Sifil and Ollie, record all the songs, get all the everything together, Chester and the other voices. Awesome and he's going back in it so you can come off the mic for the next line. Okay. I care. I care. I love it back here. <laughs> I love it back here. It's cool. It's... Okay ready? So here we go. It's kind of it's cool back here though. It's Chester. Like a new world. It's brave, brave new no, world. No, it isn't. No one cares what's behind there, dude. I, I care. care. Oh, back here is cool. It's like, what's this big TV back here? Then I mix all that, edit that, and so you have this whole stage of editing and, and making the episodes, but it's just as kind of radio shows. And that's the way I do it. It's sheer incredible acts of um, talent, which I learned in third grade, acting like, well, jackass? And then comes the puppeting part. Because he's so delayed, brought you into the- Hi folks. Right now I'm filming what, I might, I'm filming what might be the most crucial shot of the entire new Cifalinoli season, which is the close-up on the Precious Roy television that the uh, kinetic demos are going to be playing on. You got a big old booty, gonna slap that ass. Clap your cheeks to the beat. Slap that ass. I'm gonna slap, 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 like to slap that ass. It's just what the type of things that I like. This is a puppet from Cifalinoli show who uh, is like a teenage angst dude that um, that would call in. I think he was a caller a couple times. He's been in, actually been in a, a bunch of skits, but I always like this puppet, so this is one that I kept. And uh, because he's got a kick-ass skull shirt, are you kidding me? Here I have the puppet to uh, feed the sharks or feed the shark. I have a chroma key glove so I can key my arm out um, and then I can put on this and then I took a green chroma key tape and I put it around a hanger that I stuck in the tail and I basically went like this. Feed the sharks, a boy's and uh and puppeted and then i keyed my arm out and uh and it was movie magic happening uh very cheap and embarrassingly in my garage that was the sex i'm no the about dive that. within the room was all dirty i was like that's the world's sexiest cheap dog what the f Cozy Bishop that just stopped by the studio. So, so Cozy, were you guys in the... So I use this bar um, not because uh, I'm lazy and I'm leaning on it, but actually it's because I like Sifonoli to have a sense of that they're standing on the same floor, that, they're, that there's a, a, a ground. And um, a lot of puppets, you see people like do this and 
they're talking to each other, and you can tell it's just somebody's arms, like, flailing. And, um, but when there's a sense of ground, they seem more real. I also like them to be still sometime, sometimes, like they're thinking. What do you mean you're blind? You drove us here today. Yeah, that's why I turned the uh, car stereo up so loud when I'm driving, so I can see the road. Like they're just standing there looking at each other, and um, you should have to be aware that there isn't a floor. I will go like this, I will hit playback, and then... And then sometimes, I'll usually go through it. Hi. Hi there. Uh, I'll usually go through it maybe two or three times and just like rehearse like certain cues and stuff. And then I, I puppet both characters at the same time. So it's really like, um, sometimes it gets tricky when they talk over themselves. And, um, and that's it. That's the magic of socks on my hands.